But I'm going to begin, uh, Michaela, by just asking about uh, when you sort of decided when you were growing up you wanted to do this as a career. If, if, if you can recall, I mean, was it a dream you had from being a child or was something you decided at school? Or? You know what, it wasn't really a dream I had. Um, I guess I didn't have any idea what I wanted to do. I really didn't know, so I kind of, I dropped out of college early. I was just coasting along, I was being a poet, I was in like a dance crew. Um, and then a, a director called Shay Walker saw me do a poem and said, you should be an actor. And I wasn't really doing anything, so I listened to him and he, uh, he would do masterclasses um, at RADA, so I would go once a week and you have to pay, but he'd let me go for free. Um, and then he said, you know, you should apply for drama school. So I went to Guildhall, I got in, I went to Guildhall. Um, it was never really like a decision, it kind of just, I, I've always kind of just gone with the wind a little bit. Um, and every time I end up in a certain uh, location, I connect to it and I, uh, Wherever I am, I'm happy to do whatever I'm doing for the rest of my life. So I was a singer and I was happy to do that. And now I'm an actor and a writer and a, a producer and a blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I enjoy it. Yeah, so it was never a dream. It's just kind of like I'm living. <laughs> And is it quite odd in some ways to be considered at this event for shooting stars? I mean, you've been doing it so what? I mean, you've got two bastards. Oh, but, <laughs> I mean, I've never done a film. I, you know, this is the first film that I've done. So, uh, yeah, I mean... I, yeah, I mean, I, I think because the, the film is based on a play, I almost didn't really digest the concept that I was shooting a film. It's quite weird. It's only really now that I'm here at this festival <laughs> um, that I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a movie, you know? Um, it is quite, you know, weird. Maybe I'm very British, even the term, I'm like, oh, there's a star, you know? But, um, it, yeah, it's new. It's a very new experience. Uh, the only really being at the festival, I'm kind of like digesting everything, you know, seeing other people's work and meeting the, the, the other guys, stars, the other guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great, it's great. And I mean, because I mean, obviously you say it's a sort of first movie, but what a, what a lovely, quite comfortable introduction into it, in a sense, I mean, obviously you and Arinze go back, and obviously the, the writer is someone, as you've mentioned, is something of a mentor for you. I mean, to go onto a set with that comfortability must have been such a, a, a lovely way into the industry in that regard. Massively. I'm, yeah, it, also we were given a lot of uh, freedom. Also, yeah, so Rinze I've known for 10 years. Ronke is one of my best friends. I mean, it felt like a family show, you know, which is very much something Che would have liked. He, uh, Rinze also was kind of brought up under Che's wing. Ronke too. Uh, yeah, very, very kind of uh, eased into it, you know. I don't know what the next one, if I ever do another movie, I don't know what it will be like. Um, so who knows whether I've just had a very individual experience doing this, uh, this film, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. It didn't feel too pressurizing, yeah. Because I mean, I, I, was, I was lucky enough to go onto the set of being so long, uh, and I was, I was wondering, I mean, from that to then to make sort of Star Wars, I mean, the difference must have been incredible. To go to, be, to being, I don't know, something that's so, like you were saying, comfortable and quite Absolutely. small, and with such a small group of people, to going onto well, the biggest movie set, there is, you know, it's yes, bizarre. It, it's really different. I remember sort of like watching, you've got like 60 extras, you know, all moving in a configuration. <laughs> so like when they, they, you, they shoot maybe like two lines, then it's back to the beginning. And I don't know how they do it. I remember watching the actors going, this is a different skill to use to really connect to your emotion, to keep playing with the person, but you're doing like two lines every time. It's, uh, yeah, I remember sitting there thinking, man, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> and it's so much green screen, you know, so a lot of the stuff isn't there. But it, it's a lot of imagination. So, uh, yeah, massive respect to you the have, leads. You haven't seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. I know, I was in Ghana when it came it. out. Well, I was in Ghana shooting, so, uh, I, and I also wasn't sure if I even made the cut, because it's like one line. Uh, but I remember I started getting messages from people going, oh my God, so I yelped in the cinema. Then I was like, oh, I made it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, but now, yeah, I'm writing, I'm still shooting. So uh, I have to see it. I will see it. I love the previous one, so. And from one spaceship to another, I mean, you were in, let's be honest, the best episode of last season's Black Mirror. We all know it. Oh, uh, I mean, I always <laughs> think, I did know stuff as well, and I was like, yeah, this is the best episode. <laughs> I mean, it's always very down to, Opinion, man. I loved Metalhead a lot. So.
But I, I, but also, I mean, because I mean, it's not in fact inspired you, but I mean, are you planning and hoping to write again? Obviously, you're chewing on such a oh, yeah, I'm writing now. My God. Excellent. Yeah, no, no. I mean, writing is hard. Hard. But I'm like, if the difference between, I guess, writing and acting is if I don't take that part, someone else is going to take it and the thing will still exist. If I don't write this story, it's never told. So I, it's hard, but for me, I have a duty to create this thing because if I don't, it won't be made, you know? So, uh, yeah, no, I love, I'm still, I'm writing right now. Um, it, yeah, both, both are my, my passion, so. Well, I mean, as you were saying in the, the kind of presentation a bit earlier, I mean, there aren't that many stories told that represent working class black women in England. So is, is there then an obligation for you to feel like you have to write them? Because without, if you don't write those characters as such, they might never come your way. You know what, I have to say, I don't feel any responsibility to do that. But naturally, the way I write, I write from personal experience. For me, the centre of my story... It, well, not the centre, but the, the I will always be in what I write, you know, because it's from my perspective. So I like to have myself there. I think with every every film and every show, you, you can find the writer somewhere. You might not know where, but the writer is always there it's through the writer's lens, you know. Um, I, I try to not only black women, not only working class um, women and men, but also, so for chewing gum, you know, I'm like, I want uh, to write a role for someone that's otherwise abled, you know, I want to write a role for someone that is, is above a size 12. I want to write a role for a gay guy. I want to write a role for, you know, so uh, I, I'm aware of the lack of opportunities, maybe because of my, you know, position in this world, in, in the West. So I'm always conscious to, to, to try and write with diversity in minds beyond just my myself, yeah. Just a quick word on, on the shooting stars. Event. I mean, you must have been so thrilled when you got that call. I mean, what's it been like so far? I know we're only kind of halfway through the whole kind of crazy adventure that is the shooting stars. Yes. Event, but it's it's, it's a bit of a whirlwind, I guess, for many of you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. You know, like, all I know is, you know, I knew Riz Ahmed was a previous shooting star. George Mackay was a previous one. Um, I didn't know it was going to be... I mean, it's huge. I don't often, you know, I'm even that. Well, we're in a gold it's huge. Sponsored by Aldi. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean... Yeah, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I didn't shave my legs. So um, it's, it's, no, it's, it's huge. And also to represent the UK, to represent uh, working class people, to represent black people here in Berlin right now is, uh, it feels very special. So just finally, quick word on just being here in Berlin Festival. Are you hoping to try and catch some films out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see the Oscar Wild one. Uh, hopefully tonight I'm going to see that and the MIA documentary. <laughs> yes, but the schedule's so full, it's like you have to sneak away just to see something. <laughs> so, <laughs> when no one's looking, I'll quickly sneak in and watch some things. Well, good luck anyway. Thank, Thank you so very much. Oh, pleasure, cool. pleasure. Good to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!